Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Kevin Ray, and this is the behind the scenes of the Take To Be music video. What it take to be, take to be, take to be, take to be, call the baby. Yes, again, this is the behind the scenes, the making of the Take To Be music video. So the idea started off when I saw the location, Color Crib, downtown LA. I think I probably saw it on Instagram. I fell in love with all of their different monochromatic sets. It's like one room all blue, all red, one room all orange, green, yellow, pink. There's all these different looks. It really allows you to just go in and get creative instantly. All you need is camera and the lights and you go. So then after seeing the location, I was like, okay, what song do I have that can match that? And, and I was like, oh, Take To Be, it's gotta be Take To Be. My initial idea actually was gonna be a bunch of different dancers and then things change and so I, I switched it up and was like, you know what, actually what I think would be best if I did something that I have never done yet, which is do a dance duet with a lady. You know, for me, usually I'm dancing with my fellas and I wanted to try something new, something different. I reached out to some friends on Instagram and I made a post saying, hey, this is what I need, this is what I'm looking for. Ray hit me up. I had seen her doing a couple different things, but we never had actually met before. But I'd seen her dancing with Fuego Dance Crew and I seen her battling at Ring of Fire 3. I thought she was done. One thing that I liked about her was she does a lot of different styles. And uh, so I said, hey, well, can you send me some samples of your work so I can kind of see if we'd be a good match? Checked out some of her stuff. I was like, she can definitely handle this. I think this is gonna work. And it started off where we had first of two rehearsals in San Diego. I came down, she started giving me the choreography and right away I was like, okay, I need to get my stuff together because she's really good. But it was crazy. I think I was like mentally fatigued because I had so much going on. I was running around doing all these different things. I had a photo shoot that day earlier and I was just exhausted. I was honestly having a little trouble getting the choreography and, and so I was just thinking, oh man, she probably like this guy right here. And so I assured her, I said, hey, look, one thing for sure about me is I'm gonna put in the work. I'm gonna make sure I'm ready and I come prepared. And so I said, let's do this. Let me film you doing the choreography and then I'm gonna take it on my own time at home and I'm gonna I'm gonna work it out and I'm gonna get it. And that's what I did the first day after that, spent like five hours straight. Like, I'm not leaving this uh, studio session until I get this choreography. I don't care how long it takes. Five hours later, I was able to get comfortable with it to where I felt like, okay, I'm on pace to be able to do what I need to do. Did that for a few more days that we got back together again for the second and final rehearsal. And what we did was run it away from the mirror because when you're shooting it and you're on set, there is no mirror. You gotta get it and you gotta know it in your body like second nature. So we did that. I was like, we're good, I'm ready to go. And then the shoot day came on set my crew amazing saw your productions and moon we have in downtown at thomas at luis we are loading up for the take to be music video color crib that's right yeah, let's go. Again, like we worked on the So Many Girls music video, the Over You music video, and they killed that. And I knew that they were going to be great for this. And Thomas is such a great DP and he takes direction so well. And he even gives me advice. I'm like, hey, well, what do you think about this? And his assistant Moon, same thing. Like he throws in advice. We're all trying to work together. There's no egos. It's just a great vibe. And everybody just trying to accomplish something, the same goal and just make something dope. So they were on set again as the crew. And I knew I was in good hands with them. Oh, yeah. Color crib. We out here, LA downtown. Look at this. Look at this. Thomas getting set up. Yeah, man. Yee! Wow. Dang. Let's go. And then we'll be lighting these up. Got the orange room, red room, green room, yellow room, all kinds of color rooms. Color crib, let's go. We started off in the blue room, immediately got the tube lights going, looked incredible. And I was telling Thomas, hey, for the performance scenes, my solo performance scenes that I'm gonna do the cutaways from, I wanna do more of a dramatic lighting. So just like one key light and then the tube lights. And I said, I don't need a fill. I don't really want a, a rim light. I think the tube lights will kind of act as that. So I could have some variation because I wanted the choreography scenes to be even lit, more of like a corporate kind of look. So then we went to the orange room, again, did the performance shots, more of a dramatic lighting setup, tube lights and uh, it looked crazy and then by that time then Ray showed up and I said okay let's go back to the blue room and let's now do more of like the evenly lit stuff so we had the key and the fill and then we still had the tube lights in there as well so it was more of a balanced light setup did the dance sequences there and then we did the dance sequence for the choreography in the orange room uh -huh, uh -huh. there go Ray that's right that's right we about to do this dance sequence here uh-huh man look at that orange on orange 
Oh, that's awesome. So we didn't do it sequentially because then we shot, after that we shot the first verse in the Red Room and that was really cool. Had a great time doing that. But by this time, honestly, we were kind of racing and I was like, man, I don't know if I'm gonna get all these shots in. But we had a good groove going and I knew what I was wanting and what to do. And by this time, Thomas and Moon kind of already saw where I was going with it. Then we were able to knock out the dance sequence there. But we did have a really cool movie magic shot that I wanted to get to make it look like when I go from the one room in the intro to the first verse, my clothes automatically change. So there was some strategic planning on how we were gonna make that shot happen. So we got that and that was great. And then I did my performance shot, got some slow-mo shots in there and that was cool. And then I'm like looking at my I watch, I'm like, okay, cool. Let's get the green room real quick. And luckily that was a quick shot just for the breakdown. That's cool, I like the switch up. Just comfortable, chilling, yeah, that's dope. And then we did the final piece in the yellow room. And one thing that I really enjoy, one of my favorite parts of this whole video, we did all the performance and the dance stuff on the gimbal and handheld shots. And I rarely use tripod only for specific functional purposes, but for this one, I needed tripod shots. And at each room, when we were done filming, set the tripod up and kind of had it far back. So that way I had enough wiggle room and post to punch in and line up each shot of us together so I could kind of make it look like the background just magically switched to a different color. And that turned out great. And so I love that. So I can't wait for you guys to see that. That yellow. We're recording that Ooh. shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Man, the way you set up that tripod though. <laughs> Come on, Ray, let's go. And uh, and yeah, and then we knocked it out. So there was only four of us all together, two crew, two cast, and then I was doing the directing as well. We were able to be productive and knocked it out. And it you know, goes to show you that if you know what you're doing and everybody stays on task and everybody's there with a good attitude, good vibe and good work ethic, and they just want to make the best thing that they could possibly make and come together, anything is possible. And that's a wrap on the that's Take to Be music video. Shout out Moon, shout out Sawyer, Sawyer Productions. Yes, Ray, choreography, these guys are crazy. I couldn't have done it without them. They made it look incredible. I'm super okay. appreciative. Let's go. Okay, so that was the making of the Take To Be video. Oh my gosh, as you can see, incredible location. And I had a great cast and crew with me. So thank you so much to Sawyer Productions, to Moon, to Ray, doing the choreography and dancing in it with me. It's a special project. I really had so much fun. It was a blast. And I know you guys are gonna love it. Be on the lookout soon for the Take To Be music video.